Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a video to talk about an MRI arthrogram of the shoulder. This is a very common procedure. Uh, doctors will order this when they're really worried about a labral tear and want to see the labral tear to the best advantage. Normally, you can see a labral tear even without the contrast because fluid will fill the joint and the tear you know, typically will be visible, but sometimes really small tears or tears that um, are not separated will be hard to see with a, just a standard MRI. So some doctors want um, an arthrogram. So here is what an arthrogram is. We have a procedure. On the left here, we have an image from that procedure that we perform before they go into the MRI room. So the patient will come in. We will clean their shoulder and take an x-ray to find uh, positioning. And we will put a needle in. Here's the needle. We're looking down the barrel. And this is project projecting over the medial superior part of the shoulder right in this region here and we'll put the needle in and then inject contrast and the contrast will fill up the joint. The joint's a big potential space and we put it here above the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff will come sideways here and go over the top and there's a little window here that we like to go into and once we put contrast in like here this is the contrast in the syringe. There's the tube going around. The contrast is injected. And we see that the contrast does not fill up around here. It fills up down here. So it must be in that joint. And there's actually some contrast back here in the posterior dependent part. So we realize, OK, the contrast is going in nicely without a lot of resistance. It's not filling, filling up around the tip. And it's pooling in the back and down here. So we know we're in the joint. So we'll just let all that contrast fill up the joint. And then we clean them off, send them over to the MRI machine, and then we'll do the MRI. Now, the MRI machine has the joint now filled with contrast. The structures are distended, and the contrast is very bright on a particular sequence. This is called a T1-weighted sequence, and normally fluid is dark on T1, but with the contrast, it's just the opposite. It's light bulb bright. And if there's a tear of a labrum, which is a little cartilaginous wedge up here. It goes all the way around the rim of this cup, of the shoulder joint. If there's a tear of the labrum, the contrast may go into it just like this, and we'll be able to see the tear really easily. So this is a patient who has a tear of their superior labrum right up here, and the contrast is filling the joint. This is the, the humeral head. This is the part of the scapula called the glenoid. The white stuff is all the fluid, and we see the fluid in the joint, plus is dissecting superiorly into that superior labral tear. So again, this is an MRI right shoulder arthrogram showing the joint distended with contrast and showing the contrast tracking into that superior labral tear, making it really easy to see. And that's it. Thank you very much.